Ah, oh, guys, it's nice to see you. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Um, sadly, not in person with you. That's the one thing I'm really missing is not being in person with everyone, but never mind. Um, this film is so highly entertaining. There is so much going on. My mind could barely keep up. And I feel like you guys, you look like you were having the most amount on, of fun on here because there's the most random things going on. But honestly, what was the um, what was the weirdest thing you had to do? Because I think I I would find like digging my own grave was kind of weird. But um, for each of you, what was the weirdest thing that you had to do? Ben, why don't you start? I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, digging my own grave. That's an interesting world to live in for a second. Yeah, um, I would say that. Yeah, in terms of weirdest, yeah, I, I'd say that. Yeah, we we filmed um, in a fish factory for a second. And it was so stinky, and I was the one that was like, uh, "Oh my god, uh, it's so disgusting!" Uh, and I had Vicks underneath my nose, and then I was in these stupid shoes and running through it, and I just went whoop, and then fell on my back. And everyone, like, I think only Ben, like, was like, "Are you actually all right?" But everyone was just laughing because I did complain a lot about just how stinky it was, and then I was just covered in just fish guts and slime, and I was like, "I deserve this." Oh, okay. Well, that means Daryl was laughing. Uh, Daryl. <laughs> What did you find the weirdest? I think uh, the driving the car was a lot of fun in so many ways. I got slagged so much because I didn't have a license and I was we were being towed at certain certain points. Um, <laughs> but I think one of the funnest bits was doing the stunt, like um, knocking down one of the characters in the beginning of the film. Um, yeah, that was just a. a I don't know, it wasn't that weird to do, but it was just, it was a lot of fun. Not something that you, you set out to do when no, you- No, I don't want to do in real life, no. Yes. Um, Olivia, is it weird or, no, is it surreal having Alec Baldwin in this film when, like he, honestly, when I watched it, he's not who you expect to see in this kind of film. So I was like, oh my God, this is insane. Is it surreal having him there on set? Yeah, of course, and he's in a, a priest's outfit, he's wielding a gun and he's got an Irish accent, but then because this film is so mad, it almost makes sense as well. Ben, um, is this the first time that you've you've got dolled up and had a, a photo shoot um, like the one that you had with Olivia's character in here? I've dressed as a woman before, yeah. I, I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, actually I've done it in a film as well. Yeah, but also yeah, I've, I've done a play as, as a woman before as well. And then make sure it's in contract. When he... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it wasn't in the script. I I spoke to Preston and said, look, I think this would really add something. Obviously, in in the film, I would say that Pixie is the ideas person. She seems to, you know, ha know what to do and where to go and how to get the money. Um, Daryl, out of you three, who would you say is the best ideas person? Hmm, best ideas person. Yeah, who if you were in a sticky situation or a tough spot, who's gonna... I think Ben, I think Ben, Ben has come up, I don't know, I feel like Ben just, he just ha he just uses that right brain a bit more, you know, like, I think he, he just go, like, someone will be saying something, be like, no, 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 think about this. And then he'd be like, I would do this. I just feel like Ben, Ben has the ideas. Oh. If, if, yeah, I don't know, it's just my gut feeling. Is that true, Ben? I don't know, I think he's being nice, but I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like that scenario when you're in the car trying to sell yourselves to, to Pixie about who's, uh, who's the better guy. Mm. Uh, well yeah. Yeah. Um, Olivia, what's it like having the two boys kissing in your face? Like, obviously they're actors, so it's not gonna be weird, but anyone kissing in your face, I think is always, slightly awkward so having these two kissy right in your face what was that like oh lovely it was tender it was soulful um <laughs> i i personally really enjoyed it and i think it kind of capped my experience really if anything i think um olivia was jealous of me and ben's chemistry you know i think mm. she mm. We really got into it. We did. We <laughs> had great chemistry. There was some great chemistry there. Um, who, for each of you, would you say is your sensei? The boy said in here, everyone has got a sensei. Mm -hmm. Who, for you, is your sensei? My sensei would definitely be my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather, Percy, uh, in America. He lives in Baltimore. Well, he's 100% he's my sensei. He's... Um, yeah, he's just, he's like, he's 78 now. He's had a, an incredible life and has so much experience and 
I don't get to see him too often because he lives in America, but um, we're on we're on the phone to each other, you know, practically every day. Um, and he's just, yeah. Okay, mm. Olivia? Probably my mum, even though I don't, I will argue with her when I do ask for advice that I, that, that I think isn't the advice that I want. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'll be like, actually, no, that's not what, that wasn't the answer that I was expecting at all. Um, but probably her, because she is usually right. Probably my grandmother, her name's Fran. Yeah, she's uh, full of wisdom. Yeah, you know, she's lived through the Second World War. She, she, she knows her, she knows her stuff and she's a very intelligent woman. Yeah, I think I, I would call her my sensei, yeah. And you guys, obviously you had a lot of a uh, road trip bits i guess in this in this film um my laptop might die i'm just gonna grab a charger no Sorry, worries interrupt. you carry on daryl it's fine <laughs> we we didn't even need him anyway it's fine <laughs> <laughs> he's not a main part of the film of course he is um the road trip <laughs> we'll just carry on the road trip although i can see his reflection in the uh in the searching. yeah it's weird um but it's fine. Uh, the road trip, did you guys have any fun conversations in there? Like, did you find out anything about each other that you maybe didn't know before having spent all this time together? I mean, we chatted absolute <laughs> in the car. Did you get that question, Daryl? Yeah, and I heard everything that was said. <laughs> <by the way. laughs> I, am in, I am still in my room. I don't have to go that far. Either. I learned that Olivia is um, Oldham's biggest export. After someone then take that. Okay. Uh, after Mark Owen. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. I know that Daryl likes to meditate in the car, and oh, uh, really? <laughs> meditate in the car and read George Orwell. I was reading 1984. Yeah. 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 Sorry, that's that's not. There's, there's got to be something better I learned about you. I'm sorry, Daz. I know he can do it. He's a facial contortionist and can do this amazing thing with his eye, which he probably won't show you now. But oh, he has to show us now. I I can't. I. <laughs> it's creepy. That's the problem. It's just like one of my eyes like goes. I do it with my finger, just so it's not weird. But one of my eyes goes like limp like that, and then the other just stays open. Um, so it just looks like one eye doesn't work at all. Um, but I'm gonna. I'm saving it for Halloween. So I'm just. Oh well, perfect. Thank you.